Hey guys, iHeartMovies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. Alrighty, uh, you might be wondering why I'm outside Edelhide right now. Well, there's actually two reasons why I'm here. First off, I mentioned in the last episode that there's a little something special to show you guys. So we are here doing that, and let's get into a random battle real quick. I'm going to show you a little glitch that you can do in this game that notes that I will not be exploiting throughout this game, throughout this, uh, this uh, LP. But basically, what you have to do, you need to have Rudy use a heal berry on himself, have uh, Jack use a heal berry on himself, and then for Cecilia, she is the most important one in this because something you want to duplicate. Um, I'll be using, uh, what do I want to use here? I'll just use the um, clear chime as an example. Now before you do this glitch, you gotta make sure whatever you're going to use this glitch with, you need to have only one item of it. And I'll explain mine in a little bit. Yeah, click on Heal Berry with Cecilia, and then switch it with the item that you want to use with the glitch for the clear chime. And then just use one on her. <coughs> now you may be wondering, like, why you need the Heal Berries for this. I don't know why this, you need to use the Heal Berries, but you're, they're actually not wasted because you'll see in a second once my next turn rolls around, that's actually, I'll just say that in one second. So actually, excuse me while I just fast forward this a little bit. There we go. Alright then, now, you see that clear chance have been duplicated to 255. Now you can do this with basically any item you want. Um, you can't, I don't think you can do it with runes though. Well, actually, you actually probably could. But this glitch is actually better to be used if you, if you so choose to use it with like potion berries, magic carrots, and full revives and major berries, things of the sort. I just want to deal with clear challenge and show you guys how it's done. And then you'll see heal berries are down here, and we have we only really only used one heal berry for that at all. So this brings us back up here, and there you go. So now you can use this. I think that you can sell all these for a ton of money, which is what actually I plan on doing. Now, I, I will not be using this for, like I said before, for using um, magic carrots and full revives and all that. But if you want to, go right ahead. Alright, let's just uh, finish this battle real quick. That's pretty much all you really need to do is have everyone use Heal Berries, have Cecilia switch places with Heal Berry and the item you want to duplicate, and then have her use it on herself. And then that's really all you need to do is finish the turn. And then if you've done it right, then you'll have 255 of said item. So you can do that with basically anything, with items, equipment, there's a, the uh, gear, I guess, with the clear time and all that. And also, okay, that's one reason why I'm in hide. <coughs> now the other, which I'm pretty sure we can do, you notice how the town's in, uh, still in pretty bad shape, but we can fix that. But first off, let's sell these clear chimes. You see, these sell over 3,000 bucks apiece, and if you sell all of them, and all, all of them except the ones, you can do it again. You make a crap load of money, 762,000 gala. I'm actually not even gonna sell all that many. I'm gonna sell like about 10, I, or 10 or 20. Just this is just because, and that is your money issues, really. But yeah, that's pretty much the only time I'll be using that glitch, really. Yeah, the other reason why I'm here, head off in here to the, uh, I guess this is the mayor's house, isn't it? I don't remember. Okay, yeah, it is. Yeah, he mentions yeah we need money to rebuild the town. So if you talk to this person right here, you can help rebuild Edo High yourself. So donate 500, 500 dollars for that. Now you can keep donating um, increments of money. I think it starts at 500 and then goes up to like 1,000, 2,000, uh, 3,000, up to 5,000, and so on and so forth. And, and you can keep donating money and just um, and just, once you donate, just leave the town, come back, and, and you can donate again. As far as when this is actually available, as far as the story goes, I'm pretty sure you can start doing this once you have the uh, sweet candy available to use. You yeah, just leave the town and come back, and then you have a thousand bucks. So that's kind of the reason why I wanted to use a clear time so I can have some more money for that. But yeah, I'll be taking care of that off screen, and then, yeah, that will come into play later in the game, refitting the town. But the further you get in the story, the, mo the more money you can donate. And also, I found out where we're supposed to go, unlike the last episode. Also, top of this bottle right here, there's an item in here for a duplicator. But yeah, I was saying in the last episode where we were supposed to go, um, the area that I was thinking of is actually a town that we go to a little bit later. Um, that's not where we're supposed to go right now. Where we we're really supposed to go is an area way off to the east, if I can find my map. It is way off to the east. So, let's see if I can find it. Um... Uh, let's see, hold on. Okay, random battle. Yay. 
Yeah, where we're supposed to go is actually the area called the Tri-Pillar, which is in a uh, line in the middle of the sea. It's way off to the east, so should be finding it soon. Yeah, also, I uh, finished up my uh, training off-screen. Uh, Rudy's on level 27, actually, and the Jackson Cecilia on level 26. Okay, what the heck? It dealt 29 damage and only stole 28 yellow? Okay, I thought I was supposed to steal money was equal to how much damage was dealt, but, uh, oh well. Okay, let's just kill this last siren real quick. <coughs> and there you go. Alrighty. Let's see. Is it, wait, is it down here? I don't know. I don't have a map I'm looking at right now, so I'm kind of just going aim roaming aimlessly. Um... We're not supposed to be way down here, I don't think. Actually, no, okay, we are. But first... Ah, crap. Do you notice this little island there we could, we could land at? So actually, I'm going to run away from this battle and show you guys that real quick. And I was too slow. Crap. Well, he did a free round to attack me, so have fun. Okay, well, this is kind of off about that for the Jelly Eater. I thought the damage dealt to you was eat with how much money they steal, but I guess not. It's close, but not quite. Hey, okay, that'll work. Why well, have a quicker way I want to go about killing these guys? Let's defend, and let's use Sonic Buster. Such a great move to use for a group of enemies like this. There you go. And simple as that. Alrighty. Yeah, let's head off over here first. There's a booth down here, and if you talk to it, you can change your name for a thousand bucks. But I'm not gonna do that. Sorry, name wagon dude, but I'm not, I'm not changing my name today. Alright, get get in the boat. There you go. But also, just a quick note of reference, you see red blinking dot is me on the map, that's where the tripillar is where I'm at. So, just so you guys can look at that as a reference point. And then, you have the tri-pillar. Ugh, I hate this part. It's fair, it's, it's straightforward, but it's just annoying. And you'll see the reason why the uh, tri- if you name for the tri-pillar, there's three roads in here. You know, the three roads in cooperation and trust will bind them into one. Ah, uh, correct, so you have to go up this tower separately. That sounds fun. Alright then, now first off, let me see, who am I controlling? I'm controlling Rudy right now. Uh, hold on, let me look at something real quick. We want to take Rudy into the right-hand teleporter. And we'll start with him. You have the tri-pillar. Yeah, like the town pants say, each turret has to go their own separate way. So yeah, Rudy goes to the right path. And set this chest here. Uh, who else goes where? Uh, just to know the reference, uh, Jack goes on the left teleporter. And Cecilia goes up to the north teleporter. But I'll remind you, I'll remind you guys um, next time, in the next episode when I uh, get to there. Yeah, this part really isn't actually all that hard, it's just kind of annoying and it's not amazing, it's, it's straightforward, it's just a little annoying as all well, really. Yeah, this is kind of like the um, Guardian Temple all, all over, and each character goes their own separate way and fights their own battles and all that fun stuff. I mean, luckily, the enemies aren't really that hard because they obviously only have one character, so. Alright, there we go. What I actually want to try to do, I want to try to avoid fighting random battles with the Rudy because he's already on a higher level than Jack and Cecilia. Is there a chest up here? No, no, there's not. Okay. But yeah, um, I want to try to avoid fighting random battles with the Rudy because he's, already, he's a level ahead of Jack and Cecilia, so I'll try to run with him more often. Let's see, let's head over here and enter another, another random battle. There's a good bit of new monsters around here, so... You know, these guys aren't new. Okay, phone, I hear you. I oh, got something else from YouTube. Channel comment, I'll look at that later. Let's get back to this, then. Uh... Nah, don't wanna go there. Okay, this is where parts is a little annoying because it just kind of misleads you. So here's a new enemy, Gremlin. I have no idea why his wrench is taller than he is, but I don't know. Okay, I actually want to try and finish this battle rather quickly and get to the next floor, because I am pretty close and actually running a little short on time, too. Counterattack? Yes! 
That was clutch, I needed that. Okay, but yeah, attack and please hurry up, Rudy. Counterattack? That wasn't counterattack, but nah. That'll work. Girdle hit. <coughs> Alright then, yeah, let's beat this up. Uh, sorry I went through the experience was a little fast. If you want to see how much I got, you can just uh, pause the video. Alright then, guys, next time on Let's Play Wild Arms, we will continue our way up the tri-pillar with Rudy. This has been iHeart Movie signing off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.